And so thank you for coming to the webinar um, on navigating your way through the Microsoft Partner Network. So um, we get lots and lots of questions around what the benefits are of uh, Microsoft Partner Network, um, why we should look at you know, either uh, becoming a silver partner, what the difference is between silver and gold. So um, between Carol and Janine and myself, we're gonna try and cover off as much as possible. So the intention is that we want this to be as interactive as you'd like. Um, we'd love to have your questions. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with um, talking on the webinar, please um, put your uh, questions in chat and we will try and get to them. Afterwards, um, we will have some content uh, like links and, and information that will appear in the um, chat part of the webinar. Um, after the team's meeting has, has finished, but we can also um, send that out to people that have attended by email as well. So um, for those of you who don't work with me, my name's Amanda Chambers. I'm one of the Microsoft Modern Workplace BDMs and we've got the lovely Janine, who you guys probably all know. Um, she's also one of the Microsoft Modern Workplace BDMs and we've got the lovely Carol, who most of you probably haven't met in person yet or seen. Um, but Carol is um, the um, person that does all the annuity uh, work for you guys, um, my cloud store, and her, her role at Exceed is the annuity administrator. So she's going to talk you through um, how to get the best out of Partner Centre as well. So for those of you who haven't seen, there is a function now within Teams for raise your hand. It's just down in the little... Um, in the little menu bar in the middle of your screen that you'll be looking at. So if you've got any questions, um, please just feel free to hit the raise your hand and um, we're monitoring you know, what's going on here. So um, yeah, that's, that's about all the admin, I think. So we'll crack on with Janine. Hi guys, I'm just going to share my screen. I've got a small presentation to go through, but just if there's anything that you need to know in particular, feel free to ask questions um, throughout this. Okay, so the Microsoft Partner Network Guide. So I've put this together, it's a Sway document, and I'll send this out to you because it's full of all the links that'll take you to the relative um, areas that I'm gonna talk about. So the power of partnership. There's, a, there's all, all sorts of different partnerships that you can have within the Microsoft Partner Network. Um, a lot of you will already be either holding an action pack, hopefully, or um, maintaining a silver or gold competency. I'm gonna take you through them in a bit more detail as we go through. So step one um, is managing your membership and the benefits. So to do this, you can actually um, manage everything from your dashboard. So I put everything that's underlined through this way is a link straight into your dashboard or um, into a relevant area in Microsoft's website. So from there, you can um, track your competency benefits, you can keep your membership up to date and you can analyze your performance. So does everyone know um, how to do that already? And they quite comfortable or do you want us to go through that? Anyone gonna ask, answer? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I wanna presume that you do. <laughs> Okay, so, so within your dashboard, um, you can see here there's an example that I've put up on the screen here. And I'll probably get Carol to take um, you into a bit more detail about this. Sorry, I've just cats just jumped up onto the table. Um, but here you can see your membership offers, your competencies, the programs, advanced specialisations, etc., that you can access within Partner Centre. There's also um, managing, so this, this link here will take you through to managing your, your dashboard as well. So um, you can purchase and renew subscriptions and, um, and benefits within here. You've got your partner profile, which is your user roles, your permission and link to learner profiles. And one thing um, a lot of people haven't done that I have noticed is linking learner profiles. So if you've got any of your staff that are um, doing any of the exams, then you, make, you need to make sure that their learner profile is linked within your um, partner centre. And that way you'll be recognised for that um, qualification and it will go against any um, competencies that you're applicable for. 
Um, you can also see uh, any benefits that have been assigned or are available to you, and then your preferences you can change within there as well. Do you want to go into any more detail on that, Carol? Well, it's, it's um, I suppose the big one for partners, um, for you guys, is that you can actually add your technicians in there as well. So they have their own login and password, and they can manage all the customers from this one space. Um, a couple of resellers have mentioned when they're on the phone that they have to log in using global admins to, you know, for each customer rather than just managing it all for partner centre. So it's less confusing in the sense that you log in once, you can access all your customers and you don't have to use different customer global admin accounts to manage your accounts. It's just one login one password, and you can manage all your customers. Any questions? If you've got any questions, guys, just pop them in the um, in the chat. Okay, so everyone, um, you are entitled to internal use rights, and that is um, that comes with whatever membership that you um, purchase. So you've got Action Pack will come with internal use rights, and so will the silver and gold. Competencies. So to review and download the software keys and licenses that you have available, that's a link there that will take you straight through to that. Okay, so step three is, is purchasing an action pack, and this is really um, is worthwhile doing. So there is a, a link there that will take you through to um, purchasing that, and the cost is approximately $765 per annum. That's New Zealand dollars, and it's based on the conversion rate. But what that's going to do is it's going to give you software support. Um, it's going to give you marketing uh, tools that you can use. And if you want to elaborate a little bit further on Action Pack. You also get a lot of um, quite a few free licenses to use as well. And it's across the board. It's the CSP licensing, server licensing, on-prem licensing. So depending on what you're utilising, there's also dynamic CRM. There's a taste of just about any, everything so that you as resellers can try the software, whether you use it yourself or not, it's there for you to play around with and, you know, basically improve your knowledge by using it. You get, um, I think it's five CSP licences, but at the mail out at the end of this, I'll include the license brief so you can see what options are available for you. So quite often it works out that you save quite a bit of money because of the internal rights rather than paying monthly for your own subscriptions. This is step four is moving into competencies, which gives you um, silver or gold membership. So the competency is, is a validation of partners broad technical capability. So basically if you're able to deliver that service um, from Microsoft. And there's 18 competencies which are aligned to all these um, four solution areas. That's your applications and infrastructure, data and AI, um, business applications and modern workplace. Um, competencies will give you uh, the silver logo or gold logo, depending on which one you go for. Um, you also get further benefits for training, support and go-to-market services. So the, I've put a link in here that will take you directly through to um, the competencies area in Microsoft their website. Um, and from there, you can select which one that you are interested in getting. Um, now, to acquire them, you've got to demonstrate your um, knowledge in that business and technology area. So there's different requirements, basically, for e each one that you go for. But if you're looking at an entry-level point, we recommend going for the small and mid-market cloud solutions competency. Um, and there's a link there that will take you through to that competency. It's fairly easy. You, I think you've got to have four uh, net new um, CSP mm -hmm. Cloud customers come on board within the last 12 months. Um, that's kind of starting to get a little bit difficult now, but um, that's probably the easiest one. There's no exams associated to that competency either. The rest of the uh, competencies that are in there have an exam associated to them. And you normally need about two or three to four people in your organisation to pass those exams. Um, Cost-wise, and this is approximately, um, obviously it's based on the conversion, but uh, you're looking at $1,950 per annum. 
Or um, if you're going for gold, then it's about four and a half thousand. Now it's automatic. So competencies are within Partner Centre. You can actually see that. Um, I open this a bit better. So if you go into Partner Centre, you'll see competencies on the left hand side menu. And what that will do is pull up um, your, you can pull performance reports and you can also download your skills report. And that's where linking any of your staff members' um, certifications into your partner centre is a good idea because it will automatically um, recognise that you're applicable for that competency and it will come up and tell you within the partner centre that you can apply for that competency based on the skill set you've got within your business already. Now, there is one thing I just wanted to highlight. If you're competent, if you have one now and it expires between um, the 1st of January 2020 to the 30th of June 2020, there's now an extension. So they're going to extend it um, free of charge for a further year and you will get access to the full benefits. <clears throat> so go into Partner Centre and make sure that you, you'll get an um, extension available that you can see here and apply for that. Um, one of the main questions I get asked a lot is, um, why would I go for gold? Now, <clears throat> there's not a huge, huge gain, to be honest. Um, from an incentive perspective-wise, there's not. Um, but one, uh, one key area that is an advantage is you can seek special, advanced specialisation. So advanced specialisation will increase your visibility to customers through a prioritised ranking in searches and assures potential customers that you meet the highest standards for service delivery and support based on that um, competency that you hold. So Microsoft will be actively promoting um, your organisation for having that advanced specialisation. But if you want to uh, deep dive further into that, there's that link there will take you further through some um, more information there. If I could just raise my hand. Um, so one of the questions that I um, quite often get from partners is around when does it become financially viable to look at becoming a, a partner, like a silver or gold partner? And um, I know that we've got a quite a handy wee tool with the ROI calculator. So I'm quite often talking to partners around um, the, the sort of magic number for CSP per month is around about Three thousand dollars. That's three and a half. Okay, I'd yeah. say roughly will give you an idea. Basically, if you if you're pulling in, if you're turning over through about three and a half thousand a month um, in CSP licenses, then um, you actually start seeing a return on your investment from an incentives point of view. Right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. Um, so that takes me into the next one, which is partner incentives. So. If you um, hold a silver or gold competency, you are eligible to um, get incentives. So these incentives, are um, you've got to have all the eligibility criteria. So you've got to have an active membership. You've got to have obtained silver or gold. And this is key. You've got to complete the onboarding to partner centre, including your completed bank and tax forms. So once you do get a silver or gold competency, they will send you an invitation. Um, to do so and you must do that. If you don't um, complete the tax and bank forms, it's not going to happen and they won't backdate it. I've had that experience already um, where a reseller actually missed that email um, and didn't complete that information and lost about six months worth of incentives. So make sure that you um, have got all that detail inside Partner Centre. Um, so accessing your partner incentives, again, this you can see this within the partner centre. Um, and there's a guide here that I've put um, as a link for you to follow. So from there, you can you can do a lot of, do you know much about the incentives inside partner centre? No. no. There's a full guide. That's all right. There's a full guide there. So just where it says get the guide, underlining, it will take you through the dashboard area. And you've got to set up specific roles within your dashboard for global or account admin um, for that incentive purpose, but it's all on the invitation when you get it. I've also popped in there a um, reseller partner incentive and estimator tool. So I stole your thunder. <laughs> 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 so that is a tool uh, that you can pop in different scenarios on how much you're billing per month. Um, 
on different areas of Microsoft CSP, and that will tell you if you're going to actually be a return on investment within that incentive. But rule of thumb, I usually go on is about three and a half thousand billing per month. Um, I've put this in here. So there is a top partner questions library, and this is actually really, really useful. Um, there is a link here as well at the bottom. Basically, that takes you through all the questions that you're probably going to have um, as you navigate your way through Partner Centre. So it does have, it goes through the NPN program membership, benefits, your services, training, um, your IUR downloads, etc., and technical services. So there's, it's quite detailed and it's full of links as well that will take you through to um, other areas. But if you need support within Microsoft Partner Centre, um, Obviously, you can give Carol a go. She'll try and help you, um, but also use the support within uh, Partner Centre that's available to you. So it's, I think it's on the left-hand side that they access, and they, they're actually pretty fast um, at coming back to you. Um, and the other thing I wanted to briefly go over is go-to-market benefits. So by partnering with Microsoft, you actually get access to a raft of benefits that um, a lot of people aren't using, and you really should be because it's free uh, and it's part of your membership. So here um, is just a small graph that shows you what sort of level um, of marketing that you can actually get. I'll just move that out of the way. Okay. <laughs> so here you can see if you move into a silver competency, you get a core um, membership level benefit, which is a partner listing optimization. You access, you have access to a marketing consultation with a go-to-market resource desk. And I've actually done it myself for Exceed just to see what it was like. Um, they take you through uh, like listing your company within the website, Microsoft website for uh, referrals. Um, and then they can offer you one of the following um, for free, which is a sales and marketing asset review, um, a website review, a value proposition review or a templated digital marketing campaign kit, which is all branded for you. So it's worthwhile um, getting in there and getting in touch with them. The, they can also do paid which um, marketing as well, which is predominantly quite a lot cheaper than going for a New Zealand marketing company. Um, but they can do many case studies, um, customer one pages, any presentations, et cetera. And then if you move into gold, you can see obviously you can get a lot more um, benefits there as well. Um, now, if you, anyone's interested in, in um, taking this next step into this, if you've got a silver competency, all you need to do is email the go to market at microsoft.com um, with your, your MPN details, and then they'll take you for it from there. Um, these are a couple of the really key ones that I wanted to show you that is available to you. And it's, it's since COVID, they've opened it up to all members. Um, so there's Chorus Content Hub. Uh, this is probably the best one that they have. I'll take you into it. But <clears throat> one big problem. Oops. Yes. <clears throat> Did that change? The one big problem that most people say about Microsoft is that they've got so much uh, resources, but there's just so many different ways that you can find them. Um, and, and people just can't be bothered or they haven't got the time uh, to, to just hunt through. Chorus Content Hub is basically everything in one hub that's for you. So all you need to do is sign up um, following this link here, and, um, and that will take you through to the Content Hub, which is... Yeah. Okay, so this is Hub Central. And what you can do is they've got featured campaigns here. So if I pick Microsoft 365 Teamwork, for instance. Oh, sorry, I've got to sign in. Well, we're just waiting for that. Has anyone got any questions so far? Nope. Okay, so if I click on Microsoft Team Work, there's a featured campaign. On the left-hand side here, when it does come up, 
Um, this has everything that you need within that um, campaign. So there's PowerPoint presentations, there's emails um, that you can download, there's more PowerPoints, pitch decks, partner playbooks, you name it, um, it's all in here. You just select which one you're after, or if you want to just review, uh, view it, preview it. So here's your infographic. If I hit the preview button, pop it up on the side here. And you can favorite them. Um, here you can see a preview of that. And then what you can do is you can also um, edit it and put your own logo in there. But uh, if you're wanting to download, you hit those three buttons there. Um, and you can create, download, track, or share, um, or copy to, or get a link. So this is all available to you guys um, really easy. And all the featured campaigns, it's all the latest stuff um, will be in here. So it's super easy to use this content to, you know, make sure you guys have got a footprint as far as social media is concerned. Um, it's, you know, snappy, professional content that is easy to push out. There's no having to create content. It's literally just copy cutter and off you go. So, you know, you can obviously customise the, the messaging around it, but just having this, you know, quality marketing content for free and we just see so many people either don't know about it or um you know not quite sure how to use it so any other questions on that i mean you and I definitely yeah 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 please yell out if you need help with it at all um the next one that is really good and i use this all the time is um digital marketing content on demand so basically what this is it's a um it's marketing content uh, that's set up for you and that you can I'll click into it. I'm always reluctant to show people this because I feel like it's like sharing our magic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I kind of don't want people to know that it's our, our secret weapon, but okay, we'll let you in. So if, you, if you're wanting to uh, look intelligent on um, social media, <laughs> this, this, is the, this is the way to go. So what this, I've opened it up here and you can select your channels on the left-hand side there and you can see I've selected Modern Workplace. And each week they provide you content that you can you can pick and choose what you want to post. Um, it's all once you've set it up. Oops, I'll just sign in. Once you've set it up with your credentials, you can put email lists out. You can um, you put in your LinkedIn credentials. Then it automatically will <clears throat> remember those. And once the week's campaign is out, which you'll see here, so this is week three, and they're saying here's an infographic that you can share based on that topic. If I click in here, you can preview it by going, clicking on it and just seeing what it's, what it's all about. Um, and then you can go share this. This is how simple it is. Share this. Okay, so, so here they're saying create or edit your message. This is going to be a LinkedIn ad. They do a suggested status message, which I generally use. Depending on your time, you might want to rewrite it um, and pop it in there. It's automatically going to pick up your company name um, when you put your credentials into the site. Then it's going to say it's going to give you a thumbnail picture and a description of what you're about to post. Then you can say which, where you want to publish it to, uh, whether it be your own LinkedIn site or your company LinkedIn site. Load more in there. You can post it automatically, um, or you can um, set a day to, to schedule that. So it's completely up to you and a time. So you can have a whole campaign set for a week and just have it to schedule to mm. push out automatically. So I don't know if any of you are on my LinkedIn, but that's my secret. Um, Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> they all this is exposed. It is, it is. So, and they, I mean, they have all sorts of other things that you don't necessarily have to post on LinkedIn. This is a download on a telesales guide around um, that particular campaign that week. So it's very useful. You can just download the content and use it internally. If you don't want to share on social media, it's completely up to you. Now, um, if you're wanting to add further channels, it's, it's simple. Just add channel. Um, and these are all the other channels that you can oh, should actually have that one. And so this is driving awareness and education for teams um, to help employees feel connected and productive while working remotely. So this will be full of content around remote working. 
It was interesting. I actually um, had a um, session with the people from Butterfly Publishing. So if you want um, help from them to, you know, make sure that, you know, you're doing things in the most effective way, like they get on the phone with you, they're based in the States, but they'll get on the phone with you and show you little tips and tricks on how to, how to get the most out of it. There's um, quite a bit of reporting available um, within Butterfly Publishing as well, so you can see, you know, what sort of um, success rate or that you're having with, with that content as well. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to highlight this campaign because it's particularly good. Um, and I do encourage you all to go and, and have a look at this. But it's called my uh, Your New CSO Campaign, and it's designed around Microsoft 365 Business Premium, um, targeting sort of the less than 300 employees, which is SMB. Um, so the material that is within this campaign is easy to watch, easy to understand, and it's funny. It's, it's comical. And... If you're wanting to understand Microsoft 365 or even try and get someone to understand what the benefits are, that's the key. Once you go into the website, um, it has this landing page and you just click on each different area that you're wanting to deep dive into. Uh, they've also got video links and these are really great videos. They explain it probably the best I think I've ever seen um, out of a marketing campaign anyway and it's, and it's entertaining. Yeah, it's end user focused as well, which is cool. So, you know, it's stuff that you can easily, um, you know, pick and mix and take, you know, to do a presentation for one of your clients. They're quick videos, like they're about one minute, one, two minute yeah. videos. And if you were going to lead into a, um, a company uh, with Microsoft or you're going to pitch Microsoft 365 for Business Premium, I would lead with that video, to yeah. be honest. Just, um, it's great. So I encourage you to go in and have a look um, and access those those videos and content. Um, I've also listed a whole lot of other of the current marketing campaigns that are available to you um, just in the, within the modern workplace area. So there's security team where you can get modern. So those are just all a whole lot of links through to those campaigns if, if you have any interest to anybody. Um, and that's me for um, this morning, but I'll hand over to Carol because she is going to do a bit around Partner Centre um, and the ins and outs. Okay, um, I guess I just wanted to um, highlight two resellers that um, when you get a new customer, one of the first steps you do is you process our invitation link so that we are added under the customer's tenant under the partner relationship so that we have access to the tenancy and this is also my cloud store won't work without that link being processed, as most of you will know. However, a lot of you aren't adding your own selves to the partner relationship. So you, when you log into Partner Centre, you also have the ability to create an invitation link, send that to your customer or process it for your on your customer's behalf and add your own company under the partner relationship. Now, by doing this, it, when you log into Partner Centre and click on Customers, your own Partner Centre, it will list all the customers that that invitation has been processed for your company. It's not an automatic process. Um, and without doing that, those customers will not be listed in Partner Centre under Customers for your company. So to be able to manage all your customers from that one place, you need to process that customer relationship link for your own company. Um, and I'll be sending out some documentation on how to create the link for yourselves um, from Partner Centre, but you just need to log in and utilise that account and get all these fabulous benefits. It's got some really cool reporting and analytics you can um, export all your users and get some really cool um, ideas about who's increasing licensing, who's decreasing licensing, their trends, what licenses are being used more than others. There's, it's an absolute gold mine that you can go in there and it's extra reporting on top of what Microsoft Cloud Store offer you. And I'd be happy to show any of you or talk you through how to gain access to that information. We use it ourselves. 
Um, so, you know, there's no reason why you can't be utilising those same tools. Um, I also realised the other day by getting a lovely reseller to export their customer list for us to enter his customers, it, it, one of them also includes the partner tenant ID, which is what you need for transferring customers. So that's really a helpful report as well. Um, of course, again, all that information only shows up if you add yourselves under partner relationships. Everything's key around that one step. And I know a lot of you don't do that. Um, you just rely on Microsoft Cloud Store, which is fabulous, but these extra tools and reporting, you do have to do it for Partner Centre. I really can't think of anything else to talk about unless somebody's got some questions that we need, that we can try and answer. <laughs> Someone be brave, please. No one's brave. Oh, we've got one. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, so, sort of question here saying, I heard that my cloud store was getting an update. Is this correct? I find it very slow to use and can sometimes take ages to update Microsoft. Um, update as in, uh, I guess that's the same thing. Well, the yeah. second update, we are working in the back end at the moment on a um, change in the time and a, um, a more improved um, syncing update, uh, but we don't have a time frame for that. Um, I don't I don't personally find it slow, um, but... Yeah, I've um, put it to... Is it the syncing? It's yeah, it'll be the syncing, and sometimes when you're adding licences, I do know that the pending status can sometimes take a while. A lot of that is because the Microsoft API is taking a while to respond to our API and go, yes, it's updated, because um, there's a lot happening in the background when you sync or add a license to my cloud store. Um, a tip that I use myself is if you're needing to update licensing is click on the users um, so you've got your licensing screen. Next to that, you've got users and licenses. If you click on that tab, it will download all the licenses. And I find that that can sometimes, if you run the sync again from there, it can sometimes update quicker. And if there's lots of users, it helps when all the users are, it just seems to help. I have, you know, Really no idea why, but I find it helps. When you've got lots and lots of licensing, at the moment, you do have to run the sync maybe three or four times to get it to update. That's where the substantial um, tenants are quite, quite detailed. But the key thing here, I think, and everyone needs to realise, is that you can assign users mm -hmm. within My Cloud Store. And if you do that within My Cloud Store, you're not going to have to sync. Um, and it's going to take that whole process away from, you know, you won't have to jump into a separate website uh, to assign users. And it's so it's simple. So when you go through to My Cloud Store and you're adding a license, after you've added the license, um, there's a next step and it's a drop down menu and it will show you drop down all the users and you can simply tick which user you're wanting to assign it to. So we do encourage you to assign users within the um, My Cloud Store to prevent you having to sync all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and that will. But it will, yeah, sometimes it, depending on the size of the tenant, uh, it can take up to a couple of minutes to sync. Uh, and another good thing to do is maybe press the refresh button um, on, on your website page as well after you uh, press sync. Yeah, and sometimes it can be the Microsoft site itself is a bit slow, which yeah. can happen as well. Um, the other thing is, is do, as Janine said, the only time you really need to go into the tenancy for a new user is when you've got Exchange Config. Everything else can be done in the tenant. Yeah. And if, if anyone needs any further training around um, how to assign users and, and things mm -hmm. within my card store, then please just yell out um, and we're more than happy to jump on a Teams call and take you through that. Thanks for that, Dave. Any other questions? No. no. What I'll do is I'll send um, the link through for this way. 
Um, and if you've got any questions from there, just give us a yell. Thank you um, all for your time this morning. Have a fantastic long weekend. Oh, yeah. oh we've got a new message. <laughs> oh, excellent. Thanks, Graham. That's good. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, excellent. Okay. All right. <laughs> People are wrapping us up. All right. <laughs> we get it. We get it. We're leaving. All right. Have a great um, rest of your day, guys. Have a super long weekend. And uh, thanks for joining us. And we'll be sending out the information um, this way. And you'll be able to see um, information in the chat part of the um, meeting when we're done. Thanks, guys. Thank you.